What's good everybody, it's JC Sims here and welcome back to my channel. I am so happy to be back in this chair. I have not uploaded a video as of now in like three weeks. Um, I'm not sure when I'm going to be uploading this. I, If you watched my last video going over the Healthcare Redux mod, I kind of talked about my lack of motivation when it comes to not content creation but playing the sims and how i want to expand my horizons but i recently have kind of got back into it especially with the new pack that is coming out very soon i just kind of wanted to take some time off and get my brain right and kind of take down some ideas on how i can make my channel better for you guys um during my break i hit 9,000 subscribers so i just want to thank you guys so so much this is it's honestly crazy because i never I don't want to like doubt myself and say that I never thought I'd be here, but I never thought I'd be here so fast. So I want to thank you guys so, so much. I think right now we're up to like 9,500. So the fact that I am on my way to 10,000 subscribers is actually insane to me. Thank you for all of your comments, supports, sharing my videos, all of that, because I would not be here still filming these videos if it wasn't without all of you just pushing me to keep doing better and keep making better content. So I just wanted to say that before we start the video. Also, before I start this video, I just wanted to say that I do have a Patreon. I've gotten a good amount of comments over the past few months asking me if I had a Patreon because, you know, maybe you want to support um, monetary wise, which is cool. Um, I just didn't want to just do it for the sake of money i wanted there to be an incentive for you guys to use money out of your pockets you know you guys i'm sure work really hard i didn't want to just make it a place where people give me money and you don't get anything in return so if you want to go ahead and check out my patreon you can do so i will have it linked down below um the content that I'm going to be bringing out on Patreon is subject to change, but right now I'm going to be uploading some exclusive videos. I know some YouTubers use Patreon as a way to upload a video like a day or two early. I didn't really want to do that. Um, so Patreon will be exclusive ad free videos. So, um, maybe some exclusive like mod videos but i was thinking more like sit down videos maybe some vlogs just so you can get to know me better and i'm also if it's allowed i'm not sure if this is allowed i want to do like some curated cc finds just because when i do these mod videos i like it to have a theme whether it be i'm showing off um a series of mods and cc from a certain creator or different creators but they all are kind of like the same topic some mods and custom content that i find i really love but i can never really fit it into a video so that is going to be kind of a good place for me to put custom content and mods that i find that i think are worthy for you guys to play and kind of play around with um, you will be able to find that there i do have some other tiers as well including a tier that will give you access to a 30 minute kind of zoom consultation with me where we can talk about um, content creation or questions that you have about the game maybe you're a content creator starting out and you just kind of want to know how to grow your channel I know that I don't have like a million subscribers or anything but um, getting almost 10,000 subscribers in a year I think is pretty I don't know, I think it's a pretty big feat and I think that I do have some experience in kind of what works and what doesn't in this space. So um, that will be linked down below. Like I said, do not feel in any way obligated that you have to go spend your money because I think that the support you guys give me just by watching and liking and subscribing and commenting is more than enough. But I just wanted to make a new avenue of content creation that allows me to be able to upload more free content here. So if you're able and you want to, I will have my Patreon posted down below. For today's video, we're going to be looking at some new custom content that has been released by Ravishing. I think it's going to be two pieces of custom content that is just so revolutionary. As always, you guys know Ravishing is a channel favorite here and one of my friends. And she just always just comes out with stuff that I've been wanting. And these items, they're just, that's all I have to say. They're amazing. So I feel like I've talked enough. Um, let's go ahead and get into it. But before we do that, if you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe and turn the notifications about on so you get notified every time I post a new video and let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so we're here in the game. Ooh, I'm moving my mouse a little too much. So we're here in the game. Um, I'm going to be showing you one of the mods or CC or whatever you want to call it here. And then we're going to move over to another place, um, probably a community lot to show you the second piece of custom content or mods 
um, from Ravishing. So this is a house that I've been building for like the last week. It's not done. I just found myself like placing some stuff. I never build in this style, but I just feel like on this street with like the goth household and stuff, I wanted something that was a little bit more traditional, but that has nothing to do with today's video. Um, and I'm sorry if you can hear my robot vacuum is out in the living room doing its thing. So I don't know if you can hear that, but I definitely can. So I'm just giving you a little warning. But um, the first piece of custom content is something that I have been wanting forever. And I really just didn't think it was possible. And I would I didn't really know how a creator would implement it, but leave it to Ravishing to do it and do it flawlessly. So the problem that I have with the curtains in the game is that when we come and look at the curtains, things are just kind of, never mind the fact that like, I really only use certain curtains in The Sims, just depending on how high they are or what they look like. Um, sometimes you just have these windows like there's a window up here that's really really long okay so with this unless you use custom content there's really no way to have curtains that will fit this whole window unless i use like these um i think i have some of my custom oh hold on so um like i have some custom content ones that kind of are really long and they can fit this whole window but ravishing has come up with the most innovative amazing like i i can't and they are called the window shopping modular curtains um, i'm not sure if these are public access right now or just on our patreon but i will have it around my head um somewhere but it's they're basically modular curtains and they're just amazing so i also um if you noticed when i'm putting curtains around the window so i guess i'm gonna be showing off three mods from her when i'm putting curtains around the window they're not snapping she also came out with a mod that takes away curtain snapping which is amazing because i hate the curtain snapping kind of system in the sims 4 it is so janky and i just don't like it so with this mod none of the curtains will snap to the windows you can kind of put them wherever you want um if you can alt place them and you know put them like this if you felt like it so um that is just another thing that i wanted to include let me go ahead and turn my music down so sorry if you couldn't hear me <laughs> i hope i don't have to refilm that but when you come into your build by you're gonna have these curtain rods so you have a left double rod a right single rod um the middle single rod and double rods and these are really cool because like i said you can do modular um curtains so you're gonna add so right here is the double rod, which I really, really like. So you have the right double rod. I'm going to put it on the right side of the window. And then I'm going to take the left double rod and put it over here. And now what I can do is I can take the middle double rods and these actually do snap to each other. And it kind of uses the system from um, Dream Home Decorator. So once you snap them together, you can pick them all up. Um, with the If you have like a really long window, it only picks up the two, but it, still so amazing um there's some different swatches and this is the double rod and the reason why i like the double rod is because i love the idea of having like curtains and shears like you have like the panel that is opaque is that the right word opaque is the one you can't see through so you have the panel that you can't see through and then behind it you'll have shears and it kind of gives you the illusion that you can like close up the curtains i so wish that we could have a mod where sims can actually close and open curtains but now i feel like i'm asking for too much but now that we have the panel on there um when we we have to come back into live mode and oh I open the gallery when we come back into live mode i kind of like this idea because it makes it feel like you have to buy the curtains so if you were building a house you can just put the rods up but when you come back you can now press on the curtain rod so there's a little description right here um designed to hold panels of fabric this modular curtain rod is guaranteed to keep your curtains up and off the floor this can be attached to other double rods in the modular window shopping series to create a linked object. Click on them to add curtains in live mode. So when we click on them, you can add your curtains or if you just need to know how to use it, this really helpful pop-up will come up, but I watched the live stream so I know how to use them. And now we can add curtains to here. So since this is a double rod, you have the option for a back curtain and a front curtain. Like this is just, it's so amazing. So let's go ahead and add a back curtain and you have have all of these curtain choices this like when I got the notification for this I was like is she kidding like is there anything that she cannot do so um, you do have a lot of options I am gonna say I usually use custom content curtains but since there's a lot of options and a lot of color options I really see myself using this a lot more so I'm actually gonna come down and come to like the sheer section and just add on a sheer curtain 
Oh, look at it. Look at this, you guys. I love that. Um, we can come back to the right section and add another one on the back curtain side. I'm just gonna add the same matching shear. So as you can see right here, um, it's sitting on the back curtain rod. And then we can go ahead and add a front curtain. And I like this because you can have the ones that are drawn back. So I think that's what I'm gonna try for this room. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> I, Excuse my French, but I fucking love this. This is like the best thing I've seen all year. This is this might be my new piece. This might be my new favorite piece of custom content slash mod because it's just it's the UI. It's so intuitive. It's so smart. I love it. Like this is just this is everything. So I'm, I'm gonna try. I don't know if we have a matching one in just a long curtain, but I'm gonna try it and see. So I'm just gonna put this one on. Oh, so just look at this. So you have like your shears and like, oh, and then if you want to change out your curtains, it's really easy. You can just come and press remove curtain and it will just simply go away. I love this. I think this, it, it's definitely my favorite piece of custom content right now because like who would have thought, who would have thought to like just do something like that? I've always wanted something like that, but I just never thought it was possible. Um, and I just, I like the fact that it's all one cohesive rod. You don't have to put two curtains beside each other. It's just amazing. So if we come, I'm gonna show you the single rod as well. So if you don't want like the shears behind type of look, you can just use the single rods right here and they will snap together. We come back to live mode and we press them and we can add the curtain. So the cool thing about this, if you don't want to use the double rod curtain, there are some curtains that seem like they already have shears on them, like these up here. So you can do that and it will just, oh, I can't, I can't. This looks so good. I love how it's just one single rod. And again, you can remove the curtain and I forgot to say this, you can also change the length. So um, I'm gonna change it to a medium because this is a medium wall. You can do that. And then if we come into build mode, I'm actually just gonna move them up. So now we can kind of put them wherever we want and it will go the length of the wall. I think that's so, this is amazing. This is so amazing. This is gonna cause, this is gonna fix all of my problems that I have with the curtains in The Sims 4. Um, I think that if you're someone that doesn't, not that you don't like to use custom content, but you don't like to have a lot of clutter, I feel like this could really solve the curtain issue because now curtains are completely um, custom to the window that they're on. You guys need this. I really think you need this. Like I said, I'm someone that has like, you can see all of my custom curtains. I use custom content curtains all the time, but I just, not that I'm gonna delete them or anything. <laughs> um, I just feel like I won't have so much of a use to go through, especially with the bigger windows, like the one upstairs or like in this little sunroom, I have like uh, four windows by each other. Now I can just use one rod instead of like, like usually I would like do this and overlap them. It kind of looks janky, uh, you know, I mean, it looks fine, but it doesn't look as good as using the modular curtain system. So go out, download this right now. Like I said, I will have it in the description or on the screen somewhere if this is early access or public access. But if you do have the means, I really think you should support um, Ravishing on Patreon because she is doing the Lord's work with her custom content and mods. She has been killing it. She always kills it, but I just, she's just awesome and she just gets more innovative and thinks of cooler things to make every single time she posts. So um, that is gonna be my first piece of custom content. Well, I guess two, cause I showed you the no curtain snapping mod, which I also think is just an essential, even if you're not gonna download these modular curtains because the curtain snapping sucks. And the curtain snapping mod works with base game, any expansion pack, custom content. It just, it something in the tuning of the game, it's not gonna snap it to the windows anymore, which I think should have been the move anyways, but I digress. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to our second piece, oh, third piece of custom content. Okay, so I actually just bulldozed their house, sorry. Um, I didn't feel like going somewhere else. And I really just don't have like my office lot or really any community lots. You guys, if you've been watched, if you watched my last video, you know I recently reset my computer, my custom content folder is all jacked up. So we're just gonna do it here. Um, I just built a box and I'm gonna put a door. Um, I don't know, let's just put a random door. 
Okay, so Ravishing, amazing. She actually has made base game compatible elevators that actually work. Um, and what I mean by that is if you don't have city living, um, the elevators in city living are, you can only have one per lot and they only work, I think like in the, um, penthouse slots but these are completely base game and they actually work like i feel like an elevator should so you're able to put these in kind of your own lots community lots whatever whatever so it is the elevator portal and just an animated door so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add an elevator right here at the back and what we have right here is an elevator portal and you can kind of just put it i'm going to try to get it in this room okay there we go and I'm going to go ahead and do it up here. And again, up here. Oh, wait, hold on right here. So these also have some different swatches and these work like stairs are supposed to work. And when with your Sims, what they'll do is they kind of use them as stairs. So if you also have stairs on the lot, I think they just use whichever one is closer. So Okay, this is a bug. I updated my game and now every time I go to live mode, the gallery comes up, I'm not really sure. So there is no like functionality, like you don't press anything to interact with it. But if I wanted my Sim to come all the way up here, you'll see that he's going in and because there's no stairs in the lot, he's just automatically going to use this elevator. He'll get in and he'll be all the way at the top floor. So if you remember my how to make functional offices video, I think that would work really good in like an office setting. If you had like a multi-story office or a community lot, um, you can go ahead and put these in your houses. Also, if your Sim is like rich, you know, some rich people have elevators in their houses. I feel like that could work as well. We also have these, which are just doors, and I'm pretty sure that they work exactly the same way. If I just wanna go ahead and delete these, I can put the door kind of wherever. Ooh, that is not correct. Um, yeah, my game is kind of buggy. I don't, all my mods are updated. The only mods I have are like MC Command Center and stuff. So I'm gonna go to live mode and watch the gallery come up. Let's just watch this. Of course it doesn't do it that time. Okay, anyways, so we're up on the third floor now and if we come back to the ground floor, he's gonna do the same thing. But these are animated. So um, the other ones you just kind of disappear whereas these, they do open and close, which I think is really cool. I just put the box a little too small. So let's go ahead and widen these so we can actually see it and doesn't glitch to the wall. I'm gonna have him come back up to the third floor of our little sad box here. And as you can see, the elevator doors actually open and he will come out of the top. Now, I know that there's been other, I think that was another elevator mod type thing, but you had to put these like mats that it like showed you which ones you went in and out and it was just too confusing, I never used it. But these make it really, really easy. I really miss the elevators. I think we had them in like The Sims 2 where you can place them anywhere, everywhere. and this is the kind of vibes that I'm getting from these elevators. So I really, really like that. And I just, I love being able to have elevators actually work correctly. I hate the fact that you can only put one on like each lot. I'm pretty sure that's how these work, but the ones that we get with City Living don't even work like in a setting like this. So if I put one right there, yeah, if I put one and I try to put another one down, it says only one elevator is allowed, which is just like, how can you travel in an elevator if there's only one elevator? Like, where, where are you going? So <laughs> I really thank her for this. This was something that I didn't even know that I needed, but it's going to increase my realism. Like I said, I like to have my Sims go to the office or even if you're building like a big like mall or stores, you know, something like that, that would work. My game is being so weird. Like, look what happens if I go up to the next floor. Okay. See, when I go down, it like, it's weird. My game's just acting weird and, I, and I, I'm not here for it. So um, that is what I wanted to show off to you guys today. Um, and yeah, definitely go pledge to Ravishing on Patreon if you can. I will also have the information on these if these are just... Um, early access right now. I'm pretty sure that this one still is early access. So all the information of when it's available, if you um, don't have the means to pledge to her and you have to wait for early access, all of that information will be down below. And that is all I have to show for you guys today. 
Well, everybody, that is going to be it for my, um, I don't really know what to call this. I guess a showcase of some of Ravishing's newest custom content items. I am going to be coming out with another video centered around some of her mods, but that will be either this week or next week. Um, again, if you like this video, please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and turn notifications bell on because it helps me out a lot. And just a little another shameless plug here if you would like to pledge to me on patreon um go ahead and go to the link down below in the description bar um the first content that i'm going to be uploading on there will be uploaded the day that i'm uploading this so monday um, when you're watching this if you'd like to go pledge and see some exclusive content you can go ahead right over there after this video um, i love you all thank you for being patient with me with my little break that i took i'm actually really happy to be back and i feel very refreshed and i honestly just cannot wait to see where the future takes us on my channel so thank you and i will see you guys in the next video bye